is just absolutely excited to take this challenge head on. They said it's February, so right now it's anybody's game, and everybody knows everybody. You saw the overall tell the tape. Arizona State dictating the terms historically 66 to 40. I mentioned Arizona looking for their fifth consecutive win with Jaden Williams feeding the post. A quick touch for as Mary Martinez and the whistle comes. 11 to 10, 3 and 6. In fact, 12 competition. Arizona State 10 and 11. And I mentioned they picked up two wins their last three times out. That's opposed by seven losses. The kick out to Pueyo. She's selective with her shooting. That one is off the mark on the weak side. Martinez with a rebound, and Williams will reset. Martinez is definitely going to be someone big for Arizona to step up, and that's all that was on the scouting report for ASU because she has such a great body inside the paint but can also knock down that three. Martinez can compensate for all of the injuries that they have endured. I think that their veteran leadership will absolutely do that indeed. Martinez has such a great ability to find that comfortability inside the paint, but also set those screens and get the guard open. Martinez, a good shooter for a post player at 77%, gets us underway. Crisp looking to create, but she's denied baseline as Brea Cunningham showed off her athletic ability. Trayana, of course, staying home to play her college hoop. She's from Goodyear in the Valley. Was a star Millennium High, winning three state titles before coming to Arizona State. We highlighted the right player at the outset. Brown to the goal. That's right, and I talked about that athleticism, just shooting over two defenders right there to get it done inside the paint for her first two buckets. So one of two for Martinez, allowing Arizona State to have the slim lead. Brown has been even better than her 17 and a half points for the majority of the year. Scoring over 20 points in Pac-12 play, rejected by Cunningham as the freshman makes her presence felt. And now the Cats look to create in transition. Jones with a strong king. She's averaging five points, but getting more playing time as of late. You see both teams attacking the rim early on in this basket. And just looking at the court, you can see that the Sun Devils are outsized inside the paint. But I like that they're still finding that aggressive energy and attacking those bigs head on. Crisp with the long two and a smooth stroke. She's the second leading scorer for the Sun Devils on 11 points again. Arizona State finished the season with an 8-20 overall mark, just one Pac-12 victory. Cuello had a big game against the Sun Devils in Tempe in December. Williams is short. Martinez once more on the offensive glass. And she has been the lifeline early offensively for the Cats. Crisp look for the answer. Denied making her way to the goal. Arizona able to get the stop on that possession, but they cannot let ASU players sneak behind them like that this game. Look at this block. We talked about how big Arizona is compared to the Sun Devils. But I like that the Sun Devils are still attacking. And cutting it, you can see how impactful she's been with rejections. Post to not hesitate on that substitution. Like you said, Arizona only playing with seven players. Got to get Williams up there quickly. But Blakely is a great sub coming into the game again. Those 24 points against Arizona. ASU better watch out from her. And waiting for help. Martinez thought about the three instead all the way. And she's creating a three-point opportunity the hard way. Catch it from beyond the arc and feel so comfortable inside to make a move like that. I mentioned the first time she was at the line, typically reliable and completes the three point play. Adversity, namely, the big time scorer, Ty Skinner, missing the entire year with the torn ACL. That's 19 points they had to replace. I'll go through the other walking wounded coming up. Sosa's going to need help. That is not her game. That far away from the bucket. Hooking up with Simmons, and it worked out. When these teams met in Tempe in December, Arizona won by 39. Much different outlook. Martinez has shown off the handle. She has the ability to hit from three-point range. She's made 11 this year, consistent at the line. And think about this in terms of the overall body of work. Over 1,000 career points, 1,000 rebounds, and 
better than 200 steals that makes her the only active player in all of D1 hoops with that trifecta. Well, she was preseason picked all Pac-12 for a reason, and you can see it today how just aggressive she is and just that basketball knowledge that she possesses, the senior of this team stepping up as soon as they need them. Brown followed her own miss, made a trip to the Elite Eight with a program you're very familiar with, the Louisville Cardinals. And with the injury battles that they are facing, players like Brown, uh, Chris, and Thompson, sophomores are able to step up big and get that playing time that they need for the experience. Three points now for Jalen. I mentioned she's been locked in in conference play after 22 double figures 16 times this year. It's Arizona with the ball and a two-point lead less than four minutes to go in this well-played opening quarter. Blakely hands it off to Cunningham. Well designed. That win came over the California Golden Bears. They were swept here in Arizona. It was on the state. Got Cal as well in Tempe. Shot clock at eight. Sosa with the three. Now I mentioned if she's got space, she can be lethal. That's her 11 3 knockdown out of 18 attempts, better than 60%. And she was one of the first people on the court yesterday during practice to get up that shot that you just saw right there. But I hope the viewers can see her hair because that's what I'm loving is the Valentine's Day hearts that are going all across her head right now. I see you, Sosa. Making a statement all over the floor. Williams getting creative. She's on the score sheet. Beating the post. And Kanisha Torres scores for the first time. Martinez just off the mark. And that'll take us to the second quarter as momentum has been elusive. If they had all their players, I bet they would be a different ball game. Oh, certainly because depth leads to fatigue. I'd have to tell you, you play at a high level. You only have seven available players. It's going to be a factor in the closing minutes. Jones. Watched by Chris. Back to the hot end, Martinez. And she is fouled on the floor. Shot clock dwindles down to eight. All the way to the hoop. Blakely earned that one. What great awareness of the clock and driving it into the lane. Able to swivel her way in there and finish with that left hand. It was so pretty. And strategically, after all of the transition opportunities, the pace of this one is slowed down to start the second quarter. So so. Strong drive on the baseline. Once more, excellent defense by Bay, causing Simmons to adjust that shot. Blakely! She's got back-to-back -back drives for consecutive hoops. That's right. She's finding that confidence. Exactly what the Wildcats need, and I love that she's stepping up big in this game. It's rivalry day. Well, the last time they got together, Arizona State lost their offensive rhythm in the second quarter in Tempe. Only had eight points, and so far it's feeling a lot like that dilemma to start this quarter as we're getting more of a separation between the teams. A reminder, Arizona led by one after one. Martinez, that's a three. Richie banked it in. The bank is open on a Sunday. That's right, put in those threes up. Has to be pleased that this quarter's feeling a lot like that quarter over in Tempe because it's been all Arizona so far. And now picking up the defensive pressure, but Simmons is equal to the challenge. Catch and shoot for three, and that was a massive bucket knocked down by Brown. Jones through the bay screen, and we'll take a road shot there, a little bit short. Simmons, a defensive rebound, as she looks to push tempo. Well, Coach Barnes has to be happy, like you just said, Brian Martinez and Blakely already tying their career highs in the first half, doing what exactly what they need to do to keep their team with this lead. Here I see a heat check time for Brown because she's come alive. After knocking down the three, backs it up with the drop. Bay trying to beat the clock. And it's going to Arizona State. You can either look at the injuries as a problem or you can look at it as an opportunity. And I'm glad to see these players looking at it as an opportunity. You're getting the playing time that you might not have gotten before. Can we talk about the quick hands of Pueyo? And she's rewarded with the bucket. She earned that. 
And with that, she's now moved up to a share of third place on the all-time Arizona steal list. Shot clock at 10. That was a circus shot. Williams along to a rainbow that hits the backboard in the front iron. Well, I tell you, the tempo of this game, you definitely would not think that any rosters are cut short. Arizona is pushing that basketball every single time they get a rebound. They're already down the court. Battle for it. Blakely put her body on the line, but she's got to get back because Arizona State had numbers on the weak side. The second chance opportunity dropped down by Crisp. She's a factor now. The lead is down to one. 2.20 to go in the first half. Cunningham to Bay. Williams blows past Crisp. But Crisp got back defensively and forced another look. And Williams dropped it down. A nice flow to this game with 1.45 to go in the first half. More methodical possession here for Arizona State. Brown, nowhere to go as Pueyo came up with another rejection. Pueyo got some hand, though, and body on that sequence. And that'll put the reliable, typically, Brown on the line. I keep emphasizing the good shooters. And it's my fault, so not eight points. A reminder, we're getting closer to the break. And we've got all the excitement of the halftime report presented by Walt Disney World Resort. Nine points now for Brown. Stop jinxing the players at the line, Brian. Jeez, I keep jinxing them. You're, you're, you're a jinx. people here. Speaking of defense, Sosa held her ground as Jones drove all the way into the lane. That was a clean steal by Pueyo. He'll give it up to Blakely. Teammates in synchronicity. Courtney's got six points now, all created by Elena. Love to see that defense. Like I said, that, that's the fun part for me to watch in this game. The threes are cool. The flashy stuff is cool. But to see Pueyo take pride in defense and how quick her hands are is awesome. Ore had Martinez come from the backside. Pueyo now sole possession of third place on the Arizona all-time steal list. Ore had her first career Double-double non-conference play for Arizona State against San Francisco. We knew coming into this year that Ty Skinner would not be available. Along the way, no Maggie Besseling for Arizona State. Treasure Hunt, one of my favorite names in all of sports, out to the personal reasons. Pueyo showing she's far from one-dimensional. That's her fourth point, and now we got a quick whistle off the make. And looking at her stat sheet... She just does it all, averages about seven points, gets about three boards, about four assists per game, and of course, three steals per game she's currently averaging. Martinez will drag it out, and nice defense there by Magalico to deny baseline. Blakely has really been a difference maker with eight points. Arizona fans not afraid to jump in when needed. And we're scheduled to talk with Adia Barnes in just a few moments. Get her thoughts on a well-played first half for Arizona. Shot clock off. Sun Devils can hold for the final possession. Here's Addison Novosel. Clock at four and three. Brown has to try to beat the buzzer going to halftime. When led by Brown, Arizona State found their way offensively after the Cats were fully engaged. And we're starting to pull away with things. Lead is seven. Simmons presumably with a new set of contact lenses back on the floor. Last touch by Arizona. It remains Arizona State basketball. Well, Arizona State is doing or starting off exactly how they should, being down uh, seven points in this ball game. Attack. Stay aggressive. Do not let this game slip away from you. Torre earning a trip to the line. She has had excellent body control throughout this afternoon. Most impressed with Torre's ability as a post player to really use that body. I, it used to drive me crazy when I was playing with post players that wouldn't use that size to their advantage. She gets her position early. She doesn't get moved easily. And she's able to either finish or get to the line as we see now. And up to four points this afternoon. You saw the 
minor disparity. Floor versus line for Torres. He is an automatic bucket at 46% from the field. Well, hanging up at the Chris. Batted it right back to the Spaniard. Elena with a tough shot, just can't roll it down. Cunningham battles for it, and then deferred. I've been love to see how aggressive she's being in this ball game. And Martinez closing in on a season high that she matched most recently with 20 in the win over Cal last week. Cunningham pulls it away for Arizona. Well, we've been pretty good on our predictions, Brian, so I'm just going to throw another one out there. <laughs> she's going to get it. She's going to go for 20 today. <laughs> we'll call the lock. Well, she's got the opportunity to get a couple more. She's amongst the Pac-12 steel leaders as well. Men should typically very good at the line, 77%, up to 14 points now. And if you're thinking career high, 26, that came as a Mountaineer in Big 12 play against Oklahoma a couple years ago, I mentioned. I want to see what it's like. Do, like. do the players write like a little note, like, I want to leave because of this, or how does that work? I think you need a time machine. I think players should have that same freedom. And you can hit me up on the X if you disagree. We'll have the conversation <laughs> after the game. It is Arizona in control to start the second half, and we're seeing more whistles. Arizona almost has double than what Arizona State has been able to produce in terms of just points in the paint. So some way, somehow, they're going to have to find a way to contain these big bigs and definitely not letting the little guards get in there and score inside. Rims out as Sosa picked up her second personal foul. Brea still sitting on three points. You see the heavy knee brace on her right knee. And she's dealt with injuries in her outstanding prep career. Good defense by Arizona, but that creates the opportunity from the perimeter and Brown remains dialed in from distance up to a dozen points this afternoon. Cuello a little too little too late something we don't often see from her but Jalen Brown does not need a lot of time at all to get that shot up. Williams to the cutting Jones. She can't hang out to the basketball. Quick hands by Crisp. Came away with that steal. Needs help as she works through the double. We have seen Sosa hit a three. And she's got two as she splashes another one. Representing all six of her points. That shot is so pretty and I'll say it again. I love that she was in the gym early yesterday. The first person at practice practicing her threes because she knew that the team would need her today. And I love to see that practice pay off. Hard work pays dividends. The lead down to five momentarily. It'll stay that way. Another rebound for Martinez. Unselfish to Jones. Martinez now up to her fourth double-double of the year. Martinez looking at the ref saying, where's the five-second call? Where's the five-second call? And earning that opportunity from the perimeter as Sosa goes down. Keep highlighting it because I think it's so cool. I love the hairstyle that she has going for Valentine's Day coming up. Making the early statement. Now, she has not had the opportunity to shoot many free throws, and for once, she can't hear me. Just two of eight from the line coming in this afternoon has dealt with a variety of injuries throughout her Arizona State career. Of course, was fouled in the act of putting up the three, so has three shots here. The grad student from Sao Paulo, Brazil, was a JC All-American at Chipola College in Mariana, Florida. You know, I don't understand the struggle from the free throw line. Martinez with the clear out elbow. We'll take another look at Martinez picking up her second personal foul. I see contact from both sides. Jalen Brown kind of had her wrapped up early. Martinez kind of giving her the get off of me and getting that foul call. And I beg your pardon, it was Brown who picked up the foul. So Martinez just reacting. And we know that both players have a right to the ball. And Martinez lost the handle. As mentioned, Martinez already with the double-double. But from the big picture, Arizona State hanging tough. They trail by seven at the break, and now they are still down by six. I had that one by Simmons going down. She'll have the opportunity to pick up the two points at the line. At well under her seasonal average. She's looking for a third point here. If you caught Arizona State playing Cal last week, that challenge. Lost the contact lens and 
Goes 0 for 2 on that trip. Pueyo comes back. Jones will head to the bench. But because Arizona touched it last, another opportunity for the Sun Devils to carve into the six-point lead with six minutes to go here in the third. Crisp through the Thompson screen and takes it all the way in. So 8,000 fans to see our game. There'll be a huge crowd to check out the Arizona men. Another reminder of why Tucson is a college basketball capital. Pueyo gets involved. Drills the three for her seven points. Pueyo showing she's not only a defender, she can also knock it down from beyond the arc. Love to see it from Pueyo. Dobson gets fouled, showing the kind of form that gave her 19 points in the blowout win over Arizona State in December. She hit five or six from three-point range. From the macro view, it was a tepid first half for Arizona State floor. 28% they open this quarter. Three of six, that one won't go down, so it remains a six-point Arizona lead as Blakely turns on the Jets quickly to the four courts. And if you're ASU right now, you have to get a stop on this possession before you go into this fourth quarter. It's time to start chipping away like you did at the beginning when the first, when the second half first well, started. Drops it down to Martinez. Excellent defense by Sosa as she stood her ground. That's really been the mantra for both schools. More outstanding defense. Thompson with the swat. Arizona State has numbers. Thompson rewarded. And she turns defense into offense for her second bucket this afternoon. All the credit to Thompson on that play, just moving to the basket and not stopping her cut. Blakely knifes inside. It was adjusted by Sosa as defense really has become the key element for Arizona State. Well, she got the block on the defensive end and then ran the court, sprinted the court as she should and didn't stop her cut wide open, easy. The lead down to four. You see the time remaining, just over 2.30 here in the third. Feels like this one is going to be spicy all the way down the stretch. Brown matched up with Pueyo. Now the double comes. Martinez was supported. That meant there was the opportunity for Crisp. She remains locked in up to 10 points. And that's exactly what you have to do if you're Crisp going up a, against a bigger defender. Finish with the left hand. Keep it on the outside. Thompson, another steal. She's got it. This game is tied at 41. Journey has a half dozen points. The bench is standing up. The bench is loud. They're clapping. They're jumping. I love to see the teammates support those on the courts. Adia Barnes asking her team to play through it as we're locked up at 41. You saw the surge recently for the Sun Devils. Martinez! That was a tough take. Nothing wrong with what happened in that sequence. As emotions now becoming a factor as well. And the right idea for Chris, but she traveled. Old school basketball. Off the end stack. It was all lined up for Martinez, and she missed the layup. Well, things getting much more intriguing with Thompson on the line. Now, she had a bit of a funky stroke on that one in terms of intensity in this third quarter. And 0 for 2. Another rebound for Martinez. Uh, season I 13 now. Blakely all the way in. Turned away by Simmons, and that's that tandem getting involved again. And our crew now has to make sure that emotions don't get hotter. Because things are getting chippy now. No, oh, it's getting very spicy. This isn't on us, but Arizona taking advantage of this time and doing a little team huddle with Coach Barnes. Oh, we see Blakely put her kind of put her hands up, and Simmons just wasn't having it. The senior was not having it from the young junior guard, Blakely. But again, it's rivalry day. Both teams are passionate. Both teams want this badly. I see no harm, no foul. And a good piece of officiating. Both players teed up, offsetting tees, in essence, trying to keep this game under control. We still have the fourth quarter still to be played. Williams was looking the direction of Martinez. Excellent defense by Sosa. And that gives the Sun Devils a chance to take the lead. Round watch by Pueyo. 
Thompson has gotten involved lately. With the shot clock now at 11. Simmons, watched by Williams. Boyo, another steal. Up the floor. Jones takes it in. And she's going to the line. Boyo with her third steal of the ball game. Just look at her hands. Look at her hands. I'd be scared to dribble in front of her if I was on offense because she's so quick and she keeps her eye on the ball. Brown committing her second foul. And it won't be a three-point opportunity. Final seconds of a juicy third quarter. Thompson all the way in. Turned away, and we're going to the fourth quarter. Four-point game with the fourth quarter underway. And emotions now becoming much more of a key component, as you might expect when Arizona takes on Arizona State. Martinez got a two. Cunningham, who kept it moving. Everything but the bucket for Williams. Simmons played by Williams. Another screen, and that was fairly obvious. As Thompson, if it comes down to free throw shooting for the season, Arizona State 69% as a team. That is 10th of the Pac-12. Cuello, open from the outside. The long two gives Elena nine points. That now makes three players from Arizona surpassing their season averages. Martinez. Quick hands. Jones. Try to go coast to coast. And one. The freshman. Three the hard way. Eight point lead now. Chris with the miss. Jones with those excellent defensive hands and then coast to coast finishing with the left. So Importantly, Thompson picking up her fourth foul. She has moved into the starting lineup but no Kalen Gilbert. Getting very vocal on this Arizona State possession. And that time Sosa can't hit the three after she was able to knock down a couple earlier in the game. If you're Arizona State, it's now or never. Stop and score. Stop and score. You need it with only seven minutes left in this ball game and all the momentum going to Arizona. Well, retreats. Cunningham's flashing in the lane. Plenty of space for Williams. Instead, hands it off to Brea. She muscles up and drops it down. Fifth point for the freshman. And now the lead continues to grow for Arizona. Up to 11. Another turnover. Brown can't hang on. Brown just doing too much dribbling on that possession. She had to open 15-footer, or she should have just attacked to the lane the first time. You can't dribble that much that close to the basket. And astutely, a Dean Barnes signaling to Williams. One clock here with just over 6.30 to go. And the Spaniard is taking over now. Well, 11 points. Timeout. Don't need the three, but got to get a hoop presumably here. Chris with the shot clock at four leads in, and she delivers a significant bucket up to 12 points this afternoon. Chris is getting the job done on offense, doing a little bit of everything. If you're Arizona State, again, it's now or never to make a run for it. Cunningham becoming much more of a factor down the stretch, seven points. And the whistle comes with difficulties. Get the ball inbounds. Couldn't beat the counts. Cuello hooks up with Cunningham. Now she's up to eight points. And Arizona State did not have an answer for Brea in December either. Had 11 points and eight rebounds. Cuello forced the adjustment on the turnaround by Brown. And with the lead at 15 and just over four minutes to go, Arizona can work more clock. Doesn't get easier for either team. Heading to Southern California next week. What a one-two punch that is to have to play UCLA at Pauley Pavilion and USC at Kansas Center. Martinez. And if it's Arizona holding steady at seven players for the foreseeable future, that means the contributions of Martinez all the more significant. Mechatore one away from fouling out of this one. And as Mary has earned the rest, 
and she has consistently been involved in high leverage situations. Arizona State looking to ignite the comeback. Sosa on the drive. Leaves it for Thompson. She buries it, and that's the eighth point picked up by Journey. And if you're just tuning in, you would think that this game hadn't been close all game long, but it actually has. Have an afternoon. If the Sun Devils just not able to get the momentum back their way. Must be another tie-up. Cuello gets the standing O based on even more steals and hitting some critical shots. But four points now will be up to six as Sosa drops it. Blakely through the Cunningham screen, not once but twice, all the way in. She's got it. Up to ten points after Courtney had the big first half. Talk about a nail in a coffin before the Wildcats and Coach Barnes was saying how impressed she was with Blakely at halftime and her ability to attack the basket and finish around the rim. And we see it there, putting the nail in the coffin in this ball game. It's academic now. Arizona will improve to 12 and 10, pick up a fourth Pac-12 victory. With the final seconds coming off the timer on this possession, Simmons able to come up with another bucket. She'll finish presumably with 11 points. It'll be a fifth consecutive Arizona win over Arizona State. They sweep the Territorial Cup Series this year. All teams getting ready to head to Southern California. Next up for Arizona, they'll take on number seven UCLA on Friday for the Sun Devils. A date against number 15 and climbing USC with the final seconds coming off the clock. You touched on the sophomores getting heavy minutes. Undeniably has this program moving in the right direction. So the only question is, will Arizona State get another bucket prior to the horn? Fittingly, it is Trey on a crisp, able to hit from long range. That'll give her 15 to lead Arizona State in the feet.